Welcome to Visage, a game where we explore a house in the 1980s that has been around for centuries. Many people have lived here since it's been built, some peaceful, some brutally murdered. Join me as I take control of Dwayne Anderson and we find out about these murders firsthand. Hmm. Maybe there's another ornament on the shelf? Oh, it just looks like legs. Okay. Hmm. See, the thing is, is we haven't done a whole lot with this room. That's why I'm pretty curious about it. Found the light switch. Haven't done anything with the tub either. Oh, Grandma Shampoo, the brand. Oh, AG brand. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Candles can be placed on the toilet. Nothing of any use in there. Plenty of toilet paper in there. That looks like it's something I could grab. All right. Orange soap. New smell. All right, so I know Monty suggested the basement. Yeah, no jaws in the sink. That's a plus. Actually, what if I just... There we go. <laughs> Now she's locked in there. <laughs> Dummy. I need to go back this way. Going through the long curvy hallway. Like, I want to complete this, but this is so good I don't want to complete it. This is the pace we would run if not faster than this if there was somebody chasing us. We would not run like half the speed of a walk. We would not swing a sledgehammer like like it weighed a thousand pounds. Especially with the adrenaline coursing through us. You know, if you want it done, you gotta call the Winchesters. You're a man of good taste. Um, I had an idea with the unlimited rooms because we had a sledgehammer in our hand. Oh. Didn't realize uh, crowbars were bouncy. We had a sledgehammer in our hand last time. It kept trying to hit the plant. Let's see. Never mind. Team Dean. I'm a much bigger fan of Dean than I am of Sam, too. Or was that not the unlimited? Salt. Just salt everywhere. Hold on just a second. I'm going to go back up to, I want to say it was the bathroom that had the unlimited rooms. Because I remember seeing that the plant had a magnifying glass on it. And if the plant has a magnifying glass on it, we should be able to... 
figure out what the hell's going on. I'm not going to lose my salt privileges today. Hey, Grandma! Never saw you over there before. <laughs> Bye! So back to this bathroom. Going through here. Zero or five, five three, five zero five. I thought it was five zero three seven three. Well, let's see. Okay, so five. Five three five zero seven three. I'm getting all sorts of different numbers. Um, we don't have a seven o'clock. That's twelve fifteen, six forty five, ten forty seven. I don't think we can actually do this anymore. this puzzle will happen anymore. Damn it. I'm just trying to figure out exactly where... What what are we missing at this point? I, I don't want to look it up, but it might be our only option to keep things moving. We need, we need an ornament. Well, I could go down into the basement again and grab the... Grab the baby monitor. I'm not falling for that one again. I almost did. In the basement, there's a crawl space? I thought that. Are you sure? I mean, I'll take a peek around. That's what they're describing. Oh, oh, you're looking it up? Okay, cool. I appreciate you doing that, thank you. Crawl space in the basement. Well, they're kind of like ornaments. You just kind of hang them on. So a crawl space in the basement. Let's look around and see if we can find one. Oh, oh, hey. Told me the sledgehammer was back here. Is this still in Grandma's kitchen? Yep. <laughs> Grandma. Give me. Thank you. Oh. 
open up. Open up. Yay! Progress! Oh no! Oh no! I don't like that though! So far so good. Hyper religious. Super Jesus! I believed. Thank you, Nymph. Thank you so much. Oh. Hello. Can we use a. Cannot store two handed items. Okay. There we go. I've seen this part or did but they did it earlier. They didn't have the thing to complete it. Ah okay. I might have the thing. Who knows? If not, then maybe I can be put in the right direction. Oh! This thing! I have this thing! Let's raise Jesus! Our Lord, guide us! I knew- ah! Oh, you know, I said it yesterday too, like I told my- I told you guys we needed to use that again because it's still in our inventory and, and I just it didn't click Hello! thank you so much for the bit donation I really appreciate praise it praise Jesus <laughs> praise Jesus oh lordy lordy and we got the knife so we know we gotta go visit grandpa again wow Jesus is looking good Okay, there's a hole in the floor. I'm assuming I'm gonna fall into that. Whee! Oh, I think I gotta go back into the crawl space. She stuck a knife in Jesus. Yeah, you know, that didn't register fully. What's going on? Okay. Cool. Oh, you mean finding that mirror should be the second mirror? Devil worshiper. <laughs> She's a devil woman. You're absolutely right on that. Psychopath. Yeah, I'm pretty worried she's going to be, too. <laughs> and that that's sketching me out a bit myself. Um, I really... Mm -mm. <laughs> Grandma's just gonna chase after us naked. Hi, Grandma! When you see the same mechanic over and over, it gets a little easier to deal with. And because of how much I've had to explore this house, she needs a glass of rye and a hug. <laughs> Back up to the office! Give our... Give our best friend George a good old knife. Hi, George. Sorry your life ended this way. Do we just put it in his hand or do we put it in the whole slot? Oh, we're gonna- 
We're gonna put it inside of him. Okay. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna move. He's absolutely gonna move. Why are you putting another knife in him? I love you. I love you too, George. Yeah, he really does. That's some patchy ass facial hair. That's coming from someone who can't even grow facial hair. Ooh, another cassette. Behavior Development 1. George's Memento Master. Oh, so that was all the uh, tapes, I assume. Oh, no. Okay, that says it's jammed. Do I just, uh, give it a good old whack? Sure don't. Hmm. Let's go and see what the... ...development is. Pictures? Oh, yeah, let me check. Sure, I've checked these drawers before. Okay. And then I'll check the pictures in the. Nope. <laughs> Not with my super manly swings. Those look like they have damage done to them. So we got the key that said I love you. Oh! Do we still have it? No. Oh, fuck! Every time! Another one joins the horde. Hey -o! Shit, what was I just gonna do? I forgot. Ah! Oh! Grandma's development. Let's listen. Behavior development one is what we need. I never ran out of brains. You never run out of brains. I didn't hear a click. Um, we got to figure out how to open up those doors. I think it's that one. Yeah. Nope. Don't pick it up. Put it in. I fear that Dolores is getting worse by the day. Her temperaments are extremely bipolar. She gets easily upset over small things, almost always immediately followed by self-resentment and the asking for forgiveness. It's getting harder to cope with her outbursts, but my love for her is strong still, and I'll do whatever it takes to help her overcome her condition. Oh, oh no. I'm gonna be late for tea. Where did I put that damned attic hook? There. Now they're nice and neat. So she's gonna be standing in the bathroom. Oh, she wasn't. He was feeding her rat poisoning. That would make sense. Also, you know what I'm thinking? Same uh, logic with uh, Crank. We still have the attic hook for some reason. Let's figure out why. Please go up the... Thank you. Do I have a candle on me? I do not. I do have a lighter, however. 
Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this, remember to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can see more content like this. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye! Let's raise Jesus!